Hello, uh, Blast Plast here, something I just recently found on my computer from a layout I created in 2017 using the Simple Stories, I think the collection is called Faith. Um, this is a cut file, I think was from HipKit Club, um, might have been Paige Evans, I have a couple of butterfly cut files. So just cutting out from the pocket cards, the, the 6x4 and 3x4 cards, the butterflies to back them. I don't show you all of them, I, I go through the full of doing one of them. So drawing around the butterfly and then making sure it's uh, it fits as I, and I cut it right and then using my, my two-way glue uh, to then stick the cutout pattern backing piece to the butterfly. Um, so so yeah so that's the first one done um i do initially back all but one butterfly because i am gonna thinking i'm putting the photo there um so so yeah i do back most of them apart from one of them originally initially um so yeah i just I had thought I cut this middle bit out where I'm cut, where I'm backing them all. Um, I did cut about 20 minutes of me tapping my fingers on the table, thinking about what I'm doing <laughs> um, out from the video, various different points, because I really, I had an idea and then once the butterflies are all backed and the photos in the middle where I wanted it, I thought, actually, this isn't working for me. Um, so here we go, skipping ahead to nearly everything backed. As you can see, I'm not backed to that one in the middle. You'll see that now because that's where the photo's going. I'm um, having to play about with if the photo's going under the butterflies or on top of the butterflies. Um, so, so yeah, just not quite sure. Start pulling out the embellishments, looking to what I'm going to do. Uh, on the page around the photo and then we're coming up now to when I actually think mm, not sure about this um, trying to keep the embellishments not so much on the face and using more of the the generic ones from it um, having just again having a think about what I want to do and then I decide actually this isn't working um change the photo for one that isn't quite as pigmented which i thought went with the papers better and backed that butterfly that i hadn't backed now deciding if i want to I, I, I do know at this point that i do want um, a diagonal piece across the middle um and seeing as i want it full half and half i get out my trusty we are memory keepers magnetic mat and uh, craft knife to cut that and I'm just a lot happier with this with half and half of the the grey wood grain and, and this green uh, minty background paper I think that you know it's it, it works a lot better than better sorry than what I had originally thought to do um, so so yeah cut that and I just think it, it makes the flower the butterflies um pop a little bit more on the side as well and and i don't know i just i just prefer it this way um so yeah just gonna do a few mat mat and layers now on the photo use a mixture of the pattern paper and the six by four and three by four uh, pocket cards that are in the kit so yeah, you can see there, it definitely was Simple Stories Faith that I was using. So this is from 2017. I had previously found a load of old videos I hadn't edited and I changed computers and um, didn't realise that these were all still saved in my OneDrive on Microsoft. So yeah, I was just sorting out, tidying up drives and, and backups and things and thought it's time to actually do something with these videos and share them with you. I've also got my first eight process videos that are removed off my channel as well because they refer to the old URL from my blog. But when I didn't renew the subscription for the URL, 
it's been hijacked um, and I don't really want any reference to that URL um, so I took all those videos down I will eventually just trim them and cut that bit out and put them back up again because um, there's some pages that I really love that I would like to, to share again um, maybe not the first one but probably the other ones right so I'm, I'm now looking at embellishing now what I used to do and is put any stickers on some freeze paper um, so that they weren't sticking to the background whilst I was still thinking about what I wanted to do and playing around with positions this what's on this top there at the tag changes so many times um, yeah you'll see see that change quite a bit during this um, this picture is actually from when I went from my hair being halfway down my back to being cut short and my asymmetrical haircut so this is when I first got it all chopped off and the hairdresser was like you sure <laughs> and I'm like yeah I definitely want to do this so this is you know her, my new do and I absolutely love and loved at the time and just wanted to do a picture uh, a layout just about that um, I don't journal on it during the video uh, I can't remember what the journaling is I'd have to get out my 2017 album to have a look at that um, but yeah just again going through finding other embellishments for this just thinking it feeling it needs a little bit more still um, I'm still going through all that I'm liking that little clipboard uh, coming out the top there and just doing lots of layers and layering up my embellishments which I still love to do. I haven't done much of recently, but I still love to do. Right, the one thing that I am going to change about this layout when I do dig out my 2017 album is where I place this. I think it should be lower down now. I've got like this dead space between the top of that tag and the bottom of that uh, love sticker. So, yeah, I'm going to... I want to lower that. I think I, I put that... place that a bit too high. So the whole... You know bringing things together and and closer together and not having so sort i of locked or, or dead space between things so i need to do that so i'm now using my trusty uh herma repositionable adhesive um which i still use that tape runner now so i've had that a while and this is before i invested in my atg um so yeah this is just layering my pieces back together and you see that I only remove off that chipboard piece half of the release paper it's just because I don't want it to stick down on anything until I'm ready to stick it to the page finally I was just sticking that cluster together whilst I sorted out sticking the butterfly down uh, butterfly cut file down so yeah I think this actually I've got two butterfly cut files and one has got more cut lines than the other um, so because the scan and cut will only cut up to so many cut lines so the hip kit one I think was a lot more intricate so this might have been the page one um, yeah just doing that last bit now getting everything stuck down still look at that it's when my ruler was still a full 12 inches um, before I rolled over it with my chair you'll see my <laughs> my recent videos that ruler is cut in half um because i dropped it on the floor and when i went looking for it i rolled over it with my chair and it's uh, cracked it in half and then it was still kind of sticking together but eventually broke completely um but yeah that's before that happened um okay so yeah just getting everything stuck down now and then i've got some stills at the end for you um hope you you know don't mind the blast from the past i've got a few videos from 2020 that i found as well that i've never edited so i'll be doing them too and getting them shared on the channel and mixing in with my recent stuff but that's it thanks for watching take care bye